Oh, hey Amiya, how was your morning? You found a treasure map from your cereal box? I don't know, it's probably some kid's toy they give out with every box. There's a marked location on there? Can I see it? Wait, is that Keltzit's taco stand on the map? Wait, they actually have landmarks on here? It might be worth investigating then. It doesn't look that far, so we could probably just walk there. I'll get Ifrit and Kaobi to join us in case we need any help. Hey Kaobi, want to join us on a treasure hunt? Yeah, I'm sure there'll be food along the way. You're in? Cool. Hey Ifrit, crazy thing just happened. Amiya found a treasure map in her Ami Oats. It looks pretty legit though. You want to join us in finding the treasure? You have work? Oh yeah, it's a fang merch. Totally forgot. Well, I'll let you know if you find anything interesting. Alright, so it's just me, you, and Kaobe. It doesn't look that far from here, just a forest between us and the destination. Well, let's go, I guess. This forest is a little thick. We should probably stick together to make sure we don't get lost. Wait, where's Kaobe? Okay, so we lost Kaobe. Oh, hey, there's a building in view, though. I never knew this house was here. Huh? Who lives here? Hey, what's up, man? This is where you live now? Yeah, Bagpipe and I made it off big screaming at each other on stream. We didn't want to move to LA because, you know, that place is literal hell. Oh, that makes sense. Wait, how'd the map get in the cereal box then? Cereal box? Oh shoot, I left my army out spec there. My bad. Huh, so I guess the X on the map is a house? Yeah. Well, this was a waste of time. I guess we just go back to the office, Amiya. The trip really took the entire day. I wonder if Kaobi came back. Anyways, I'm gonna go head to bed. Close up the office when you're done. What's up, Amiya? You look... different today. So guys, we did it. A year of content creation and I'm at 20,000 subs, averaging at 300,000 views a month. Even though I created my first video way, way long ago, I like to think that this month of last year is when I really started my channel. When I started out, the main ways of AK YouTube content were news, memes, or guides, but I didn't want to do any of these. I combined two genres that I was really passionate in, commentary and gameplay. Starting with the simple CC3 Cinder's Guide, it grew into reviewing future operators, and then operator analyses, and then whatever the hell this is. At first, I slapped the skits in because I thought they were funny, but as time went on, they became a staple for my video style. I never wanted to be too professional with my video style because there's a certain charm to making things slightly scuffed. One of my biggest inspirations for these types of skits was a YouTuber called Wavetro. Sadly, he quit content creation for good this year because of super complicated reasons that I won't get into, but if you have the time, you should definitely check his channel out. He makes the most unique and funny videos I've ever seen. For the past year, my growth has been pretty crazy, and I'll admit it, at times I was super focused on bigger number equals better, which is probably not good for your mental health. I think having this mentality as a content creator is natural, but at times you kinda just have to take a step back and realize, wow, there is over a hundred thousand of you guys watching my videos every month, and that's pretty awesome. I've just gotten started into streaming because I barely know how to use Twitch. All I do is press the funny start streaming button in OBS and people for some reason want to watch me go live. I'm super thankful to my literal clones of Fang for always helping me behind the scenes with anything whenever I need it, and also the emote drawers for my server, mainly Warbear and Todak. I never asked for the operators to be drawn as pogs or not pogs, but they delivered and having a server filled with these funny faces always brightens my day. I've met some other great content creators like Cookie and Viper who are amazing people. 
For now though, I definitely need a month long break from creating YouTube videos. Ironically, I'm burnt out on the genre that I pioneered, but I want to create more content than just me ranting about how Blemishine is good and everyone should worship her. Don't worry, I'll still be streaming on Twitch, so if you want to catch a stream, join my Discord, cause I announced when I'm gonna stream there. Anyways, thanks for one year of Arc Knight's content creation, thanks to everyone who supported me and helped me behind the scenes, and thank you for watching. I'll see you in Season 2.